the last season of Roni. It has come and gone. You have come and gone. So how are you? How are you doing? Thank you for asking. I'm good. It was, um, you know, it was difficult. Anything that's worth something takes suffering. It just does. It takes pain. And, you know, the housewives going back to it, um, I had all of the best intentions, which is, you know, kind of funny to, to use that word intention, but always the best intentions. My predicament tends to be with the show always and has always been my predicament in the show is, is that I really, I go there to try to serve a purpose of um, making people feel no separate, not separate, making people feel like they belong or they can relate, you know, on whatever level of relativity it is, that there's some way that they relate, that they can tap into. And, you know, that, that comes from our life stuff that comes from our individual stories. And so when I bring, when I came to the show, I, I came with an intention and a purpose. Um, and that was to lean into what was going to, we knew already be a difficult season because they only had five players and everybody knows that that's like the bad number. And, you know, being a six player that had some history with the, with the OGs and really excited about meeting new people. So I came in, um, in an old way with, I didn't research anybody. I didn't know anything about the new girls other than I had met uh, Leah once before at Dorinda's house filming. And that went, you know, that was uneventful. Um, and, you know, Ebony is excited for her being, you know, the first African American on the show being that I had lobbied for it so heavily when I was uh, a full time cast member. That's my intention. But the predicament is, you can't have intention like that on reality television necessarily and certainly on the platform the way it is now. I was just going to say, you know, you're living your life. We just mentioned your wonderful podcast, your new business, the Berkshires, you have your wonderful family like you didn't have any like, huh, this is housewives and, you know, I have great intentions, but you know, like you had no trepidations in going back about maybe something could go awry. Um, you know, I want to say honestly that I probably had some of my most embarrassing moments, you know, spewed out on international television on this return this season but I never went back thinking I was going to embarrass myself. I never went back thinking that there was going to be terrible things that happened. You always go back, I think, with the right intention and, and the best feeling that, oh, well, you know, this is going to be great. But a lot had shifted. You know what I mean? First of all, I haven't been on the show or I wasn't on the show for almost seven years. You know what I mean? That's a long time. And a lot had changed. I opened my Twitter account because I was a housewife. Instagram didn't even exist. I don't, I didn't have the post-traumatic stress from six seasons that I've seen, you know, from multiple seasons that I've seen some of the other cast have after their departures from the show. I always made cameos. And so it was like a, it's like a breakup to me. That's a bad breakup. But you know, once you see the person again, you're like, oh, but they're so nice. You forget all the bad stuff. I think that's what happened to me is I forgot that there are pros and cons to doing the show. And I went in trying to think I could dip my toe in the water and not really get too involved, but be helpful. And that's an impossible that's impossible to do, even to sign a contract, which I never signed, but saying that I would only do the cast trips. That was never going to happen. That was foolish of me. You know, you really, if you, if you want to, you believe what you want to believe. And I wanted to believe that it was going to be a good thing. And I've talked to other like friends of and stuff like that. And a lot of them, you're different because you knew these people, but a lot of them say it's like, you just don't feel like you have the same footing as the housewife. 